Hello everyone and welcome and in our today's session I'm going to show you how you can develop a simple chat application using PHP, MySQL and Ajax. But before we do that, in case you are new on this channel, this is called Star Technologies, one of the fastest growing online learning platform here in Kenya and Africa at large. So here we normally offer online courses and uh, also on this channel we normally share IT content that will help you sharpen your skills. Uh, whether you're a beginner or you're out there uh, working and you want to advance your career, this is a channel for you. So kindly click the subscribe button so that you can get notified whenever we upload a new video like this one. So let's not waste a lot of time and uh, jump into our today's session. As I said, I'm going to show you how you can develop a simple chat application using PHP MySQL. And um, one thing you need to have to set up your workstation you need to have one uh, one server or ZAMP, but today I'm using ZAMP, and this is one of the systems that I developed when I was uh, learning web development. So it is very very important for you, either whether you're a beginner, to learn this kind of uh, stuff so that you can uh, get to understand now how to implement the syntax or the coding part of it, how you can deploy uh, your codes on uh, so that you can come up with a a, a system. So I have got the ZAMP, which is here. It's up and running, as you can see. We have got Apache and MySQL, and uh, my system is on the HT Docs, as you know. We go to ZAMP here. We've got HT Docs, and uh, this is the chat application. So here I have got how many files? Five, uh, four PHP files, one uh, JavaScript file. So by default, the the index is the one that opens up in any system that you're developing and then I've linked this one with the with the index uh, where you import the headers so these are the headers as you can see so this is the code for the index we have got the main JS we have got the process we have got the save and the connection that enables us to connect to the database so before I take you through the code so that you can understand each and every step uh, first of all, I would like to uh, make you understand what is AJAX. AJAX stands for Asynchronous JavaScript and XML. So this enables the system to work on real time uh, such that uh, you don't need to refresh the front end. And the front end and back end, they can have that communication uh, in real time. Uh, like when you send a message, the other person will get notified immediately when the message lands to the database it gets sent back to the, 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 the their application and they can get notified uh, uh, immediately so that's what ajax is and it's very very important so i know for the guys who have worked with ajax you understand all about this stuff so let's jump in and start so first of all um, let me show you the system so that you can see how it works so as I said, my ZAMP is up and running, so I need to write local host here. Local host, I can press enter so that I can get to the system is got it's on a folder called chat. So I press like that. And um, I can also open local host here because I need it for the sake of the database. Local host so that you can be able to see the database itself. So the database you click my uh, PHP my admin So this is the system and this is how it looks like so you write the name like for example, I can write uh, John and John and I'll use what Mambo Wazito Mambo Wazito something like that then John will send the message and immediately it will send data added to successfully as you can see and it's reflects here immediately without refreshing the file so that is it and um, now if we check on our database our database is chat and we have got a table called a message this is the table so as you can see we have got all the messages even John has reflected on the database so that's how the system works so let's go and check uh, the steps of implementing the code so uh, what we have on the index page we have imported all the cdns for bootstrap and uh, jquery blah 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 ajax all those kind of stuff and uh, we have got the main js file which is this file which also we have also uh, imported here that is an external js file 
Then we have got the body of the page which calls this JS function and this JS function called load data you'll get it on the main JS as you can see it is the function that will now will load data from the from the database using this PHP uh, this process dot PHP which is this one so this will uh, fetch the data from the database using PHP from the database and once it fetches that information it converts it on JSON and then sends it back to uh, uh, this mnjs function which is this one and now what happens with this one once it receives the data which is in form of json the data is now uh, passed to the to the table row to create a table row and appended to this record which is uh, on uh, our index page which is on this table as you can see now on the table body we have got this rec id code record so this record is the one that you can get here it's where this row is being appended so that is how the information is fetched and now you can see by default it's going to display the details here so this is the record id and which is appending the information from the database as you can see these messages as you can see we have got the center name and center uh, center message something like that so that is it now uh, the other part is that we have a form now this form as you can see where is the form it stands from here it's frm1 that's the name of the form and the method is going to be post now on the form we have got the name which we have got a text box for that we have got um, a text area which um, where we normally type the message so here we type the name of the our name and here we type our message and once we type the message we click the send button so how is the send button going to get noticed by the system because we don't have a PHP file here on the like uh, the action file something like that so <laughs> I know most of you who have worked with the PHP we normally append, uh, append append this uh, action uh, we normally have action uh, file here if it is action save.php we normally put it here on the forms and stuff now instead of doing that now what is going to happen is that we're using JavaScript JavaScript we have got something we call event listener event listener is going to listen when the button but dot save that button save is clicked this is the function that is going to be executed as you can see here so uh, sorry 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 so how is the process now the process is that when it is clicked uh, first of all the button is disabled and after it has been disabled the next thing is to to have to get the values from the form this is how you get the variables from the form what you've entered on the form that is from the name and the message as you can see here the name is uh, this one and the message is there for the text area so once you get the values the next thing is to check whether the values are empty and if they are empty then it's going to tell you please do this that is please fill all the fields but if it's uh, it has got something now we get this part so this part first of all now the unchecks is uh, implemented here where we link to the url of save which is this one this is the php file that is going to save the data to the database so first of all we put it on the um, here as you can see then the type of uh, process that is going to take place is post and this is the data that you are going to post then the data is sent when we send the data we are supposed to go to the save so the save file is going to receive the data as you can see here but first of all we need to have the connection like uh, the same way on the process we had the connection to the database and this is the connection file that uh, a php file that enables us to connect to the database as you can see uh, we have localhost the user is root the password is empty and the database is chat so let's go back to the save so on the save what is going to happen is that uh, you get the values of the name and the message and you check again if they are empty and if they are not empty you insert them to the database like that and you return a json 
file which has got a status code of 200 which is returned to where to the main js and main js here is where it's going to receive the status code so if the status code is 200 then it is going to do what it is going to activate back the button then uh, empty all the names of the, the, the name and the message uh, uh, controls on the form that is form controls then to refresh it is going to uh, load uh, to call this function called load data to load again the data from the database and once it call, loads this one then it means the information is going to be sent again back to the this one and that one will not require the refresh button uh, the, uh, the index page to be refreshed each and every time so this is where the where is it this is where now after loading the data it's going to tell you that this one was successful and this one i can remove so that it cannot keep on showing that message it doesn't have to show that one so that was a lot for that so it loads data now when you are not sending assuming you are just like uh, you're sitting you have not sent any message what is going to happen is that after every eight seconds the page itself is supposed to refresh itself uh, by default you because we have got a function here called set interval then we call the function load data after every eight seconds as you can see that is what we're going it's going to happen on the main js and that's why it makes the page to keep on refreshing itself without uh, clicking or pressing f5 so that you can refresh the the, the 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 page so let's go back and test whether it's working now or well and uh, i hope i've said everything so i can press enter first so that i can check so we can say this is john and not john let me say this is han and uh, Anne has said Barry Barry Zeno like that you click send and automatically it reflects immediately without wasting time so assuming if I have another local hosts dot let me press enter and here write chat so if i write this is mary something like that and mary has said hello so if mary has said hello and sent it reflects here if you come here where is it this one it's supposed to refresh and uh, you can see mary and i have not clicked the refresh button so that i can see mary but i can see the message as reflected there that's because of what we refer to as a uh, ajax ajax is the one that enables that real-time communication and without refreshing the file because if you don't use ajax it means when someone sends the message on the other side you are supposed to refresh so that it can be loaded to the page so that what happens but without uh, with, uh, when you use ajax it all that one is simplified and you can be able to uh, do that so you can see the data has uh, been I have to refresh the database so that I can see uh, the one for Mary. As you can see, it has reflected here. So that's how it works, guys. I hope now you have understood. It's a very nice, uh, simple application that you can modify it, maybe to be a chat system, uh, maybe for your system. Uh, again, you can also make it to be a forum, a forum system that where you can uh, either it, it is a student or maybe on your website where you might need to have discussions or maybe something like uh, you implement it to be a comment area you can use this kind of stuff it's going to be a very nice thing for you so please make sure um, you download the code from the description I'm going to share a link on the description so that you can modify whichever way you want to modify and maybe if you've got something to say just write it right there on the comment section so that we can get to interact together and uh, we help each other grow in this field of IT and advance our skills so in case maybe you're out there and you want to take some of these courses that we offer here on our 
a platform that is called Star Technologies. Feel free to click on the student portal and you register. Once you register, you're going to get a message that uh, on your email so that you can uh, activate your account and then you can link log in and when you link, uh, you click uh, you log into the system now you can enroll to any course that you want to cover but in case maybe you're out there and you have got uh, a, a good experience in your area maybe a certain area that you normally work and you might need to make either it to be a side hustle and also to impact lives out there uh, on this platform also we have got uh, uh, an instructor part of it where you can register as an instructor and once you register as an instructor uh, you can come up with your own courses uh, you create the course outline you create the content that is uh, the pdfs and you come up with the, or maybe the presentations and you come up with a video those two things are very important just the pdf and the video explaining and you just need to make the explanation as simple as possible so that guys they can understand that is the most important thing that we normally do on this uh, platform so once you do that and you're ready uh, please you can communi uh, communicate with me via this chat as you can see this one is one of the live chats that i normally work with on this platform so for my visitors and we'll get to communicate so that you can uh, we can now upload your course so that it can be up and running and we share some costs together <laughs> as you know that uh, that's how people normally work so this is one of the platform that is going to uh, make sure each and everyone benefits so as i said make sure you subscribe you like and share the video to as many people as you can as that's how you normally support this channel and if there is something that you might need us to cover please kindly do so and also uh, take time to check some of our videos we have got amazing videos like um, uh, videos based on the machine learning and data science we have got uh, how to create ussd application we have got um, dipana mpesa mpesa apis geocoding api which is something that i know most of you <laughs> maybe you have not worked with it so there is a video for that you just need to check and again there is a lot of stuff uh, even uh, face recognition as you can see and some other system of shared like point of sale so check those uh, the, all those uh, stuff and um, you will learn something from this channel so for the guys who have subscribed i do appreciate a lot uh, thank you and continue supporting this channel